How to be a great startup CEO. There is an entrepreneurial revolution surrounding us. My name is Dr. Cedric Emil Edwin and I am your mentor and coach for business development. If you want to start your business or if you want to scale up your current organization, you are at the right place. Startup CEO by Matt Bloomberg is a wonderful book that will take you through what you need to do as the CEO of a startup. There is a lot of superhero perception associated with the job of a CEO. However, the reality is a bit different. Your job as the CEO of a startup is three things. The first is to create strategy of the business, the vision for the business and to communicate it. Second, you are required to build a team to ensure that the organization has the talent that it needs to succeed. Third, you are required to make sure that the company executes its plan and that it is properly financed. All these functions are crucial. You cannot have a successful startup without a good strategy, a good team and enough cash in the bank. In the early days of the business, there are a very few people who are capable of generating the vision for the business or setting a strategy for the business other than you. Maybe a close partner or a co-founder. So setting the vision is important, but even more important than that is being able to articulate the vision and to communicate the vision in a way that is going to make sense to all the different stakeholders in and around your company. In the early days, you can divide your stakeholders in three broad buckets. Your team, your customers and your potential investors. So the CEO's role is as much about communication of the vision and the strategy as it is about setting it in the first place. Because that's really how you are going to rally people to your cause. The CEO's role around talent and around human capital ends up being two different things. The first is around selection and the second is around motivation. And there are a lot of different pieces to each of these two things. But figuring out who to bring on board to your organization is absolutely critical because especially in the early days, the first 5, 10 or 20 employees are really the ones who are going to make or break the business. They are the one who have a lot of power in shaping the culture, practices and behaviors of the organization. Beyond selection, motivation becomes incredibly important. So CEOs are leaders, are managers, are commanders. And making sure your workforce is motivated to jump out of the bed in the morning and come and give you their absolute best 8 or 10 hours is very important. That's what drives the business forward. That's what makes the coding done or gets the customer reach out activity done. Execution is linked directly to the motivation of the people in the organization and the strategies you set for them. Make sure that goals are clear, that everyone is pointed and growing in the same direction. Make sure that deadlines are expected to meet and people are held accountable for results. There are very few people who can do it as effectively as a good CEO. Make sure that there is enough cash in the bank. Having the company properly financed is the lifeblood of the organization. It all comes back to your ability to sell your vision and story. Engaging with potential investors and demonstrating your progress to them is one of the most important things that you will do. Because without cash, it is very hard to run the business. As the CEO of a startup, you need to spend the majority of your daily time engaging with your team members, potential customers, potential investors and collaborators. Your job is to understand the functional and strategic needs of all these stakeholders. Building these important relationships is going to be crucial for the long-term sustainability of your startup. Overall, it should be about one third of what you do every day. Half of your time needs to be spent internally and internally can mean a lot of things. Meetings, discussions, taking updates or reports or giving tasks to team members.
The remaining of your time should be spent thinking, learning, reading and working on personal projects and certain time to attend industry events. On any given day, you are going to do some of these things. Occasionally, you will do all of them. No day is typical and that's what's exciting about being a CEO. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe and stay tuned for some thought-provoking concepts and great advice on entrepreneurial development. Thank you.